So, a few months ago, Ghana's Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia announced a game changer for air travel in Ghana, which was about a next generation e gaze at the Kotoka International Airport. In fact, before the end of this year, if you arrive in Ghana at Kotoka Airport, you don't even need to go to an immigration officer. We are putting together the e-gates. You put your Ghana card, it will open for you, and you'll pass and enter. The e-gates will come into work in Ghana before the end of this year. In Ghana, before the end of this year. We, are, we, are, we want to move this country. We don't have to waste time doing things that we don't need to waste time on. Let's get things done productively and then we will make so much happen. What was once a promise is now becoming a reality and that is what you are seeing on your screen. So how does this work? You simply scan your Ghana card at the e-gate. If everything checks out, the gate opens. No need for a face-to-face -face with immigration officer. Just walk through and go about your day. But this isn't just about convenience. It's about transforming Kotoka International Airport into a world-class airport. One that can handle more travelers efficiently and seamlessly. It's also about aligning with global standards where biometric self-boarding is fast becoming the norm. This initiative is part of a broader government push to digitalize services across the country, making life easier and more efficient for every Ghanaian. Beyond the airport, Dr. Baumia has also expressed a desire to engage with religious and faith-based organizations to manage schools better, especially focusing on discipline. He sees these discussions as crucial for the future of education in Ghana. I want to train a million youth in IT skills, digital skills, one million youth to create jobs because you, they don't even need to have a certificate. All they need is to be able to read and write. That's all. We are starting even with some kayaye. We are going to train them in digital skills. Kayaye. Our children have an aptitude for it. They don't even need qualifications. But if they can read and write, we can train them. And when they, we train them, they can sit here in Cape Coast or wherever and be working in America on their tablets, in Canada, in Australia. They don't have to even travel. We want a million youth trained because this is where the world is going. We have to prepare our youth for that and, and, and all of that to happen. Tourism will be huge because it creates a lot of jobs. I want to focus on tourism, the creative arts. It's a huge area for the job creation for the youth. So the next time you fly into Kotoka, get ready for a smoother, faster experience because the country is stepping into the future one scan at a time. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video for more videos like this. My name is Sharif Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao. Maybe you need to take it from there.